in hell. The hell was prepared for Satan, as you all know, not for a human being. Not even for Nana Grada or Nana Natia or any Mala. He purposely created hell for Satan. He purposely created hell for Satan, as you all know, as a believer. So why are you rushing yourself to put yourself into a, 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 a lake of fire? To put yourself in a place that they have prepared for somebody that they use have have fire, fire. I mean fire to create him. As they as you, they use clay, soil to create you to put yourself in that shoes. You can't. You can't. Even the fire in your kitchen, the fire you are using it in your corporate, you can't even stand by it. How much more the fire you have is more than the avocado. My sister, we are not going to tolerate anything. Me, anything, any mistake or anything I see that oh, this one when my man, if we are uh, for sure, do this one will send him or her to hellfire. I will talk about it. Maybe I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't meditate on the words of God and the Lord will not, uh, the Lord did not open me or, or give me the heart or give me the talk or give me the voice to speak about it. But if I see it, I will talk about it. And when I talk about it and you, you take it that I'm not with you, I'm not part of you, I'm not like this, I'm not, and there they will use it against you in the, at the judgment day. The Lord will use to judge you at the judgment day because the Lord can use anybody, including this flower. The Lord can use flower to talk. The Lord can use anything to talk to his people. If their people have ears, I don't mean this physical ear, the spiritual ear, you will listen. Oh, you will listen. Can someone say hallelujah? Peace be unto you to my brother. Oh, only one device. Oh, please, please get me device. Oh, let the Lord touch your heart to break buy me device. Because if I'm using only this one device to preach the message, then disturbing. Hallelujah. Do you know something? If you call yourself holiness, if you call yourself holiness. What is the meaning of holiness and what did, what did, where, where did you get that holiness from? And I, as I always say, it's, it's not bad or it's not against the scriptures that you call yourself holiness. But be, to be a nature of that holiness is very, very important. To be a nature of the Holy Spirit or to be a nature of the sign of God, the Jesus you are talking about is the most, is, is the root of that holiness. So if you fail, it means you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit. This is what the, 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 the flesh being don't understand me whenever I say it. You have to live the, the lifestyle of Jesus Christ. You have to live the last star of Jesus Christ. And as you all know, prophets and prophetess have come and gone before. And, and, and mighty prophet has come and gone before. But the Bible describes Jesus' character is blameless. His character was blameless. Jesus did not fornicate. Jesus did not envy. Jesus did not kill as Muhammad did. Jesus did not go angry like Moses did. Jesus did not lie like, 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 like uh, Hananias and Sapphira did. Jesus' life was blameless. So if you want to live as Christ and you, you, you graduate yourself to the holy holiness, it means you have the, the whole world and every eye must see the Holy Spirit, the attitude or the, 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 the lifestyle of Christ in you with that blame, any blameless thing, any futile things. Please, can you share it for yourself and for the kingdom of heaven to save so with all due respect, share so, if, 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 if let me tell you, the title of this message is 
Arise and rebuke the holiness church. This is the blood topic we are doing. And the main topic is the deviation they have done and they have not realized. They have deviated. And you will ask me, Sister Agatha, why is it that the holiness churches have deviated? Yes, you have deviated from 100% over 100%. You have deviated. Before I will go to the main point, I will give you a scenario of Seven Day Adventist Church, SDA, my church, my mother church. Now I'm not part of them again, by the grace of God. These Adventist people came when Eli White established that church. And the main topic they started for this church is don't wear earrings. rings. I'm talking about SDA, please. It's not you people. Don't wear ear ring. Don't wear ear ring. Don't eat snails. Don't eat a uh, rat. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Their main focus was on ear rings. SDA. At first, their main focus was, was on the Sabbath. Their main focus on, on food. If you eat this food, you are going to hell. If you eat this food, you are going to hell. If you wear a year rings, you are going to hell. If you did not observe the Sabbath, you are going to hell. I am not condemning it. And may God forbid, I will never condemn it. But because their focus was, was on that thing. By the time they realized, fornicating has taken the church, the whole church. I know what I'm talking about. By the time they realize lust, the spirit of lust conquered the church. By the time they realize the spirit of division has conquered the church. By the time they realize and they see uh, uh, all forgiveness conquer the church. And it started from the holding days up to now. Now if you go to SDA right now, fornicating fornicating the youth a German a German enter the punish it it was not they did the attention did not enjoy on that thing because on focus they are focused to for the gospel to preach when they go out to preach, they focus on the physical appearance. They emphasize on the physical appearance. And let me tell you today, from this mass of mine, that the physical appearance is the, is the teacher of the Holy Spirit. Only the spiritual beings will understand what I'm saying. The, spirit, the physical appearance is the teacher of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we are still on the SDA people. Let me tell you, their main doctrine was hearing, eating of some food, some meat, and observing the Sabbath. And they forgot to draw their attention on the, on the sin that will contaminate this body, this temple. They see you eating snails, eating pigs, eating rats. They say you are going to hellfire. They see you eat wearing your rings. They say you are going to hellfire. That means they are passing judgment or they see themselves as the righteous people. Seeing those people, those do that thing, going to hell. And I will never condemn that. And they forget that that thing, the thing, I mean the, puri, the, the purify, the impure, the thing that make a sin, that make human being unclean in the sight of God, they forgot. To hammer on that thing. If I say that I was talking about, I was talking about Matthew chapter 15, the verse number 19. And I was talking about Galatians chapter 5, the verse number 19. Hallelujah. This was the thing 
and when you are establishing church or if you are a preacher or if you are a shepherd you have to emphasize on those things more than the physical appearance more than the physical appearance because those things stays in the heart and connected to the blame or your, your sense that will teach you do this do that those things over there Galatians, Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 the, the, the sinful nature is obviously as the Bible said those things over there is directly in the heart is unseen by man but is seen to God so if you establish a ministry and you want the ministry to grow spiritually and you want the ministry to be a godliness if you want the, 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 the ministry to grow mighty upon mighty powers of Jesus Christ, you have to emphasize the sins that contaminate the Holy Spirit and that contaminates your body. And after that, because those things are the things that, that stays in the heart and the Bible make it clear that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit does not stay in any plant. The Holy Spirit does not stay in any buildings. The Holy Spirit does not stay in any materialism. But it stays in the body. And when the Bible talks about the body, he's talking about your heart. He's talking about your heart. So when the Holy Spirit stays in your heart, he will be your teacher, as it said. He will be your teacher. He will teach you whatever you need to decorate this temple. He will teach you everything to do. And the teachers, the preachers, the evangelists, and the, and the, and the shepherd will add some to it to modify you to prepare you as a a, 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 a a groom to your husband jesus christ to meet the kingdom of god hallelujah so if you receive the holy spirit first by receiving the words of the lord i'm a sinner i'm a, i'm a, let me say it uh, what is the terms used by now i'm a slave queen yes let's take that i'm a slave queen I don't know anything about the resolution. I don't know anything about anything. I just need a one service for us. Let's, let's take that as my life. Dear. And you, as the preacher, you told you would tell me, you would tell me, slave queen Agatha, putting your putting your nakedness on social media will not help you. If you do that, you are you are disgracing the temple of God. So, Sister Gata, I'm preaching to the world, uh, preaching to you that Jesus Christ, our judge, dislikes such things. So, stop it. Sister Gata, it's not good to date your, your uh, sad chick, a husband to someone, uh, a husband to a wife, someone husband, and you are dating him. It's not good to do that. So, Sister Gata, stop. And after I have received the words by the grace of God coming from you, I have accepted the word. The word that you are speaking is not, it's not a word, but you are giving Jesus in me. Because in John, he said, he, 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 in the book of John, if I'm right, the words of the Lord is Christ Jesus in the beginning was the was was the word and the word was with god and that, 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 that as we know so any words of the lord is jesus christ that's why we feed our soul with the words of the lord he's the blood of life he's a fault to our soul so after as a slave queen like me you have given that jesus that i have swallowed in me you need to baptize me water baptism and after you have baptized me i have been full of the holy spirit hallelujah and after the person has been full with the holy spirit no after the slave queen like me have accepted the word you will teach me 
you will teach me teaching me the words of the lord that you spoke to me for me to believe you will teach me and after i accepted that yes i have taken the words as my lord and my personal savior you baptize me and after you baptize me i have conquered the holy spirit will stay in me hallelujah and after the holy spirit has stayed in me oh this device after the holy spirit has stayed in me he will teach me how to dress you will not understand what i'm saying if you're fresh being he will teach me how to dress and he will even guide my thoughts at first my thought was to snatch someone husband and because I have received the Holy Spirit, he would teach me snatching someone's husband is a sin. And I will stop it without the preacher telling me. Because I have the teacher in me. I have the, I have the, I have the, I have the preacher in me. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. So I will have this huge spirit in me. And at the same time, going to the temple to receive more. I will, I will put it in that way to, to refresh it always. Always it will refresh. The Sunday you go to church, the, the preacher will refresh your faith for you. The pastor will refresh your faith for you. Saturday you go to church, your pastor will refresh your faith for you. So always you have been filling your soul with the words of the Almighty God. And after you left the temple, your pastor is not there, your, your, your pastor lady is not there, your deacon is not there, you are alone. And in the spiritual aspect, you are not alone. You are with the teacher himself. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. So because your pastor is not with you in your secret place, if you are going to sin or if you are going closer to to anything that will contaminate the holy spirit the spirit in you i mean the holy spirit will tell you don't do this don't do that don't go there don't do that and the spirit of god will remind you do have you forget that you went to the temple and pastor told you that this one is not good. why are you going to do it you see how miraculous and powerful the holy spirit is using his people and you try to go and fornicate, you try to unforgive your brother, and your pastor is not there to, 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 to rebuke you or to, to correct you. You have the Holy Spirit, and he will do it. Don't do this, don't do that. Hallelujah. So, the great teacher of any church is the Holy Spirit, and by the grace of God, that Holy Spirit has been impacted in any believer that has abstained from sin. So you are more spiritual power. You are more than mighty, mighty, of a mighty angel amid the dark angels. You are mighty than them. You are God. A very, a very, a very popular uh, 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 politician, Canadian Japan, he said you have God in you. You have God in you. Everybody, including the robbing and robber, have God in him. Hallelujah. So, uh, before we start, before we go to our main point, this is the scenario I've given you. Scenario I gave you about the, about the, about the Sabbath people. Uh, 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 I don't mean the Sabbatarian, the new Sabbatarian. I'm talking about the old Sabbatarian, Seventh-day Adventist Church. Because they emphasize on the physical appearance, they forgo everything in the spiritual. So they will say, there the, the spirit of judgment enters them. There the self-righteous, the spirit of self-righteous enters them. And by the time they realize, fornicating have taken the church. By the time they realize, lax have taken the church by the time they realize Jezebel spirit have taken the church so now if you go to an Adventist church or Sabbatarian if you go to their church the youth dress like prostitute to church 
and they see nothing wrong with it. They see nothing wrong with it because they they, they, they have used they, they have been in position of the Holy Spirit to teach what the Holy Spirit should do. The work of the Holy Spirit is a teacher to every believer. So as a preacher, you have to rebuke, correct, and encourage. You are not a teacher. When you mean a teacher, I'm talking about the teaching of the Holy Spirit. The teaching of the Holy Spirit. So a, 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 a preacher as a teacher, you have your own teaching. Your teaching is to teach me the words of this Bible. But there is a certain thing, it takes the Holy Spirit for me as a sinner to leave that thing. I will not accept it from your mouth. The rebellious sinner, the rebellious sinner like Nebuchadnezzar, it takes the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, to pierce in that person's heart to leave that thing. It's not your preaching. It's not your tongues. It's not the bakalu baba she understand the mama. It's not that thing. It's by the prayer and the and the and the spirit of God to touch the person. We have deviated. I speak in loud voice to tell the holiness churches that you people have deviated, including me. We have deviated. We, have, we are doing the work of the Holy Spirit. Our focus is on dressing. Our preaching is on dressing. We are repeating the same mistake that the old Sabbatarian did it. And now Satan has conquered the church. This is the same mistake that if you did not correct it right now, it will take us to some to somewhere we, we can go. The work of the Holy Spirit has now been in the in the hand of the holiness churches, now doing the work of the Holy Spirit. They are calling, they have forsaken their calling. Their main calling, they have forsaken it. And they are doing the work of can you do the work of the Holy Spirit? The work of Jesus Christ, you even can't do it. The way that they have been giving you, the Lord calculated your strength. That, oh, Sister Sarah can, uh, uh, can do this, can be a deacon, or can be overseer, or can be an usher. So he give that spirit to you. Oh, he look at uh, a Samoa bright. A Samoa bright can sing. He can pray. He can do that. And he give that strength to you. But you have forsaken your calling and doing the work of the Holy Spirit. That they will teach you how to dress. Let me say it in a live voice again. It's the Holy Spirit who teach the righteous, I mean the elected one, how to dress. It was comes in your preaching. And that is perfect. It all comes in your sermon, and that is perfect. You will hold your heart now with the dressing, preaching a big chum. You will hold your heart now with the modest how or be a bit near dinny honey now with your big chum or preaching. But that should not be the main calling of you. God can assign someone by that, and I don't disagree it. And I don't disagree it. Oh, now maybe it's near Jimmy Pabby, sir. Oh, dear, we are see our bar and I send Yanko Pony Nibo Betrum, our bar, baby, but true no more. What are we in Nana, sir? Pretty about dressing some coin. It is any fan of so being a numa, or to mean pretty she dresses some coin, a coin and nipper the first was yes, see any home, a coin of crystal for the first was yes, see one home coin, a woe pretty. Oh, yeah, they don't want to mean done, and I know if you send your man sign, you know. But in this case, I'm talking about now, the whole worldwide, worldwide. We are see a family in our holiness churches before, or more preaching your back up, dress this, put on this, put on that. It's not against the scriptures. Listen to my statement very well. It is not against the scriptures, but you have deviated. 
Eye, se wo be chire chire wa safo man tadi a wo monche. But that shouldn't be the main point. As the fo ye bi amboa wo mo se si a a jaman tadi boni sha bo ura safo nu. Na wo mo jo wo mo ni se wo bi a zevo sabato be ko bon sanjo. No wo mo jo wo mo ni se se wo yu kusi a pan a chichi. Ene na mo bi a a a a samo a wo be ko bon jo. Oh oh oh, ni pa ya se me ko. Ni pa ya se me preaching. Called. Someone called. Sorry, sorry. I need different device. God provide for me. I need specific device for your work, please. You see, it is good to do that. It is good to teach them because Jezebel spirit has penetrated into the church. Jezebel spirit has taken the church. Oh boy, some of us are funny now. Kutan and some, and you will not be quite proud of both of us. But if your main topic is dressing, what is the next message again? What is the next message again? 24 7 dressings, 24 7 dressings is the work of the Holy Spirit, not the work of you. Just give me, just open my eyes on the on the baptism, on, on the resurrection of Christ Jesus. And the rest is it, it, because if you go, if, let me tell you, if your if your if your teaching and all your preaching is on dressing, let me tell you, when the person come to church, he will dress modestly. She or he would dress modestly to the church because when he didn't dress modestly, that the pastor would sack her or him. When he didn't cover he, uh, her head, the pastor would sack him. When the, when he when he exhibits some part and dress foolishly to the church, they will sack him or her. But when the person grows from church, where he or she is going, there is no pastor. There has left with the person and the Holy Spirit. That's why I say you can't be a teacher of dressing. You can't be a teacher of physical appearance. You have to preach against the sin, the unseen sin. The unseen sin in us. I mean that heart in you. We have sin there. That sin, that God, God will stand on that sin to judge you. Even the Bible said it clearly in the spirit that we will not go to heaven with our disappearance, our physical appearance. We are not going to heaven with them. That's why when you, when you die, the spirit will leave you. The spirit in you leave you and live by the, the body over there. So if you have everything, preachers, if you have everything to emphasize, let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter and Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, and Matthew chapter 15, the verse number 9. 19. That is the thing over there. The fornicating, the backbiting, the, the bitterness and the enviness. You see, as the people for, uh, focus on that physical appearance and by the time they realize or oh, that the 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 sin that makes someone unclean has overcome the church now this is the mistake or that is the correction the holiness churches have to do it before they realize now you have forgot to recognize that uh, uh, overtaking that you are doing now enviness enviness has taken the church the whole world if you, you if you are funny a religious or if you are funny a movie that they are envy go to the holiness churches they are very envy they envy each other they envy each other because they focus on the physical appearance more than the, the, the sin that contaminates the church of god i mean the body itself now division has overcome them unforgiveness has overcome them if you talk of unforgiveness and you put love into blackets for them they can't practice this spirit and because they have focused on the physical appearance jealousy the spirit of jealousy have overcome them and because they did their focus and their doctrine is always on the physical appearance Nineteen teacher has overcome them. 
And because they have their, their main doctrine or their main preaching is on dressing, quarreling, the spirit of quarreling, one more harm, and a way to say, and a way no more say, Yanji Wendy, quarreling has overcome them. Please don't take me as I'm not part of you. Don't take me that I'm not on your platform. Listen to the voice that is coming from me and you'll be healed from a corona to tomorrow. Spiritual wound. Wound. You have wounded. Holiness churches have wounded. And your wound is more than Jesus Christ's wound. A corona to tomorrow. Mon père a dru un fangougoumou. Djello si kro a toutoumou. A moja a toutoumou. A nibre a toutoumou. En tokwa a toutoumou. Mon père mou dru. Na e kounou na ma kwa ni minara. Just two days, I saw a holiness, a, 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 a brother or a sister post on Facebook that. Uh, if the holiness churches listen to the post the statement i love it i wanted to comment about it but i hold my hands i couldn't comment he wrote if the holiness churches should be come together and love each one they can shake the the world this is the statement a holiness brother or sister posted on facebook and i said wow so they know, they know what they are doing is no good. They know, I'm, I'm, I follow Apollo, I follow Paul, it's no good. And they are still doing it. You will go to hellfire. You are on your way to hellfire. How can someone call holy and still go into hellfire? Then it's a blasphemy. It's a blasphemy. When I say this, you people don't understand. It's a blasphemy. Anything holy does not, it, it doesn't come with any breakage. It doesn't come with any death. Blameless life. Your life should be blameless. Yenyama yenyama huwa se mkabia. Empo si obi prane se obi kase mboni yogu musumpa. Eche se nipa na se ma waka nina ye ntro. You are blameless. That's what Jesus lives. Yes, we are buying. No, ni super ni ni be be aye blameless. And she said, "Oh, yeah, can yes, you need Pharisee for now." Who be who say they was they will state it in the Bible. Then the Pharisee want to test him. Then the Pharisees and the Sadducees want to test him. Then the the, the Pharisee want to test him. No, I'm not eh so na he. No, I'm not to turn and no he. It means I'm not for to be a influence. That make him holy God Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This make him God. This make him special than all the prophets. So if you have graduated yourself to holiness, you have to be more blameless than Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you can't be blameless like Jesus Christ. You have to be same as Jesus. Your life, your everything have to be blameless. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. But if someone can say something about you people and what you are saying is true, it means you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit. This is query. And it needs no explanation. I make a scenario that if I'm here and I've given birth to a stubborn child, I have given birth to a stubborn child. May God forbid, I will never give birth to a stubborn child. I don't fornicate. I don't rob. I don't snatch some people's husband. But my daughter is doing all such things out there. Please listen to this, this parable very well, or this scenario very well. I don't do all things this thing. But my daughter over there snatched some people's husband. He called, she called herself slave queen. She still, she robbed. She do all kind of abominable things. They will insult him or her over there. And they will attach my name to it. Then you will see, oh mommy, oh mommy, so I'm born in the world. Meanwhile, they know clearly that, no mommy, i So this is what the holiness churches have been doing. This is what the holiness churches have been doing. Jesus Christ himself is a blameless. Sorry, sorry.
my network. This is the same thing. The oh, 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 the network has been spoiling the program. This is the same thing. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me back. This is the same thing the Holy Spirit has been doing. Jesus is blameless. The Holy Spirit is blameless. Heaven is blameless. Everything of the Bible is blameless. But the children of the always let people, always let people to insult God. Always make them the insult. Then it's referred to the Bible. Sometimes the insult go against the Bible. Sometimes the, the insult go against the resurrection of the Jesus Christ. Sometimes the insulting go against the Pentecostal day. Sometimes the insulting go against the baptism of Jesus Christ. The insult go against Jesus Christ and everything about Christ Jesus. How should it be that? How should it be that? If something is holy, we can't, we can't get anything to speak against. Before we start, let's go to Romans chapter, no, Romans chapter 14 verse 1. What is the Bible say? Accept him who faith is weak without passing any judgment unto uh, portable matters. This the many one I get this Bible verses. If don't pass judgment, you, you are too judgmental. The holiness churches are too judgmental. Apart from what I have said, you are too judgmental. And that will make you that you have deviated. Every spirit, every being, any church that is past judgment to others, it's a sin against God. You are not qualified to be called holy. Jesus knew clearly that uh, Jesus knew clearly that uh, 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 Judas was going to betray him. Jesus knew that the world, I mean, the whole Jerusalem, the, 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 the kings and everybody is going to say crucify him, crucify him. But he didn't condemn them. Two, let's go to Luke chapter, Luke chapter 18. The book of Luke. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18, verse 9. 18, 9. Okay. Okay. God bless you. Sister. Luke chapter 18, the verse number 9 up to 40. Please listen very carefully. Jesus himself said a parable to you. Now those people are not there. He's telling us this parable. He says, To some who were confident in their own righteousness. In your own righteousness, you are confident in your own righteousness. So that you, this, even this, he did not say those who are in their own holiness. Righteous people. Your own righteous. You see yourself that you are right in the sight of you, in the sight of everything, in the sight of this world. You call yourself a righteous. Yes, the Bible is not against that. But this is the, what Jesus is saying. In the mouth of Jesus, no Paul, no Peter, no Silas, no Barnabas, no John, no the prophet. Jesus himself is saying these words. In Luke chapter 18, the verse number 9 to 14. Let's listen to what Jesus said. To those who are confident in your own righteousness and look down to everyone else. This is the disease that is killing holiness churches. You see? This is the disease. Is, this disease is killing you people. Including me, yeah, by the grace of God, I have delivered myself by the blood of Jesus. I will never pass judgment to anybody. I will not see myself righteous in my own eyes. But I will always pray that heaven 
or the four elders, the 24 elders to see me as a righteous people in their sight. This disease is killing the church, the whole world, the whole world, the, 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 the movement that called holiness. This disease is killing them. This disease is killing them. And pass and looking down upon everyone else. I'm not the one saying it. Jesus is saying this word from his own mouth. At that time, he saw those people. And I, I can I can boldly say he, he was talking to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. They see themselves that they, they, they read the law, they know everything, they teach everything. They know the righteous of God. They are on their way to heaven. They are knocking the heaven gate for the heaven to open for them. Not knowing they are over the bar. This is what is going on in the whole world holiness churches. That's why you will see them on this media. The whole world, especially Nigeria. Nigeria. You see holiness churches. The, 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 the pastors ladies they will boldly come out and announce it to the to the this the whole world that these people are not from god they are going to hell fire and some of them boldly mention names of some prophets some churches that these people are not going to heaven the lord showed it then that they are not going if they are not going to heaven what is your work on this earth what is your work on this office that the Lord has called you as a holiness? Huh? You are going to hell, you yourself. He's saying those people who see themselves righteousness in their own heart, in their own eyes, they see themselves, they are right in their own eyes, not me, Christ Jesus, my eyes, not the kingdom of heaven, not that they have found their name in the book of life that they are calling themselves holiness. But then they say, as they see their dressing, that they have dressed up modestly, they read the Bible every day, they pray every day, they fast every day, they, 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 they go to this and this and that, because, because of that they are going to heaven. You have been the same as the task corrector and the Pharisee. Two people were in the temple praying. One was, one was doing this, one was he was proud he was righteous in his own eyes i will never stop talking against these things you are doing it's, it goes against the scriptures it goes against the scriptures jesus told these parables this is what i'm talking about the verse 10 two men went to the temple of god to the temple to pray why a pharisees and why was holiness churches one was holiness brother one was holiness pastor one was holiness preacher one was holiness believer and one was called pentecostal and the holiness brothers stood there were proud and arrogant with self-righteousness but full and full of envy full of jealousy full of division let me tell you if you come to the media if you come to this media, especially on Facebook, especially on Facebook, those who don't accept jewelers as a sin, they are love. They love themselves. They love themselves. They don't fight against themselves. They don't quarrel against themselves. They don't see this one is following you, Apollo. They don't see this one is following you, Paul. But if you come to the holiness churches, if you come to the whole nation, they are the people who brought division on this media, Facebook over here. They are the people who let Facebook to divide into two. With hatred, with quieting, with insulting, with one unfollowing people, I don't follow you, they will unfriend you. With blocking, they created this, this fighting on this media. They go to the stand to announce to the whole world that don't listen to these people because they don't, they are not unclean, they are unclean. 
They announce that don't talk to these people, they are unclean. Don't mingle with these people, they are unclean. Don't mingle with these people, they are unclean. Really? It says from the Bible. Jesus saw the teachers of the Lord, they are, they are clean. He saw them, they read the Bible, they fast every day. But he did not dine with them. He didn't sit down with them and eat. He went to the prostitute and task collector to eat with them. And when the Pharisees like you holiness people uh, uh, confront him, he told them that I came for these people, not you righteous people. You are on your way to heaven. Hell. If you don't know, you are on your way to hell. Because the class I lack is not in you. The spirit of Jesus Christ, the lifestyle of Jesus Christ, this is not what you are practicing. You are practicing different things outside of the Bible. That's why many of you call you demons. You are demon possessed. You are taking the, the doctrine of demons. Because that's how they see you. Because everybody with the step of Holy Spirit, with the step of Jesus' teaching, who want to copy? Or you say, Jesus as his role model, live his life like Jesus. So if you're living your life like Jesus, we don't have someone who is following you, Apollo. We don't have someone who is following you, Paul. And you see, the funniest thing, after they have created the division on this Facebook, they themselves are fighting against themselves. So you see holiness B, see holiness A as a sinful. Holiness C, see, this is blasphemy. This is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. You are blaspheming God. If you don't know, you think blasphemy God is speaking something against God. Your attitude, this is what you are doing, is blasphemy. So you see holiness A, Nigeria holiness B, see Nigeria holiness C as a sinner because some of their doctrines are contradicting. You see Ghana holiness A, holiness B, they are not the same. They are not from us. They are not. You, you, what is this? And you want God to open heaven gate for you. You think God is like me. Where I take bribe, bribe. You give me 10 CD, I let you go. But those you call them that they are they don't believe dreams, they don't believe jewelry, they love themselves. They love themselves. When he see his following Yah Ren Wera, he loves him or her. And you call yourself holy, holy spirit. You call yourself holy spirit because the word holiness comes from the word holy spirit. A holy spirit that fights, a holy spirit that hates his brother, a holy spirit that Quarrying a Holy Spirit that do this, do that. I'm begging you, you are blaspheming. The, you are blaspheming. This is a blasphemy. Even the, the, the darkness, the darkness word, the kingdom of darkness, when they are fighting against a Christian, when they are fighting against Christian demons. When they are fighting to kill a righteous people, and the, and the fighting is higher, and the demon is losing, he go and beg his fellow demon to support him to kill the righteous people. How much then you? You call yourself holiness. You call yourself Holy Spirit. Let me use that word, Holy Spirit, for you to understand it well. And Holy Spirit is fighting against himself. Have you heard this before? From Genesis Revelation. Even by the time the Pharisees and the Sadducees told Jesus that, mm, you call this Nazareth boy Jesus, he's not Jesus, he's demon possessor. He's de demon possessor. Do you know the reply Jesus gave to them? Jesus told them that demon cannot fight himself. Demon, no demon can fight himself. Kingdom cannot fight its kingdom. They know that they are the same thing. So in this point, if you were Holy Spirit as a holiness churches, and you are fighting against yourself, so you are you are out of context. You are out of context. Let's put uh, the Old Testament aside from from mighty to revelation. Everything Jesus did was blameless. Everything the apostles did was blameless. 
and you graduate yourself to holy 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 spirit holy spirit holy spirit that look down upon his own holy spirit brother a holy spirit that lies lie against his brother you see them they are full of lies most of them will come on this media come on facebook to cry and weep with lies with lies with broken hearted boyfriend broken hearted someone has broke his or her heart he's weeping prophesying in lies everyone who have a spiritual eyes and spiritual understanding will see that what you are doing is not from god because they, they read the bible and they understand that the spirit of god does not do that the general spirit of god the spirit that descend on the pentecostal day does not fight does not does not bring division does not bring misunderstanding does not drop a message and that message that the holy spirit has dropped will bring fighting and quarreling it's from demons the bible made mention of heavens 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 so you have heavens that does not contain the angels of god it contains the angels of darkness and that was the that are the angels that is revealing himself to you guys most of you and some of you listen to my statement very well before you put my mouth in the dustbin most of you are are possessed most of you and they themselves they don't know that they have possessed you will dream and see heavens but not the real heaven you will dream and see hell but not the real hell you will see you will see different kinds of things that you know that is the holy spirit we have by jesus we have by jesus it is stated in the bible we have by jesus and if he reveal himself to you it looks like the original jesus because you you, you how can lord uh, god reveal something to you while you are fighting against yourself bitterness enviness and the spirit tongue lying tongue lying tongue lying tongue they lie most of them most of the revelation they are revealing is lies some of them you take the bible they just go to the book of revelation and start vomiting it that the jesus revealed to you me at this point i have my try be careful i don't afraid anybody anything i see it's contradicting the bible i will vomit it out i will vomit it out how can you call yourself holy spirit now i'm not going to use holiness you are holy spirit people <laughs> holy spirit fighting holy spirit speaking lies holy spirit envy his brother which kind of holy spirit is bad spirit holy spirit fighting his brother and not even the satanic brother the same holy spirit brother holiness a holiness be fighting against each other in which bible is it in the quran even the quran they don't fight against themselves is it in the buddhism even the buddhism they don't fight against themselves you are blaspheming and may the lord forgive us may the lord forgive us before we don't know what you are doing and discrimination in you when you are kind of when you are yes when it's against god jesus is not discriminated did not discriminate yes if jesus should be in their church right now and can or honor quarter for never obey you quarter when then there on free your part so i will not hear this uh Quarter when you free her, quarter when you follow away, quarter when the Nankobe Yimu and Sana Wasaya. If Jesus should be right now on earth in the holiness churches, and the churches of that holiness church will tell you, eh, hey, Brother Jesus, 
kwata ni we ni frani we on kan ye ho on kan ye ho ono no di apology ai o yesu me sa chira ya ye we chira ya ye we follow apolo en sa ne ale this is what you have been doing you are on doing and 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 what my vo miss is the draw your program and they call themselves to observe the program without calling the the sinners to come ye you have deviated you have deviated you mingle with all with yourself without calling them without calling those who are on their way to hell fire without calling those tax collectors those prostitutes without calling those do do don't do this you call yourself to eat your own food it uh, it goes against the scriptures mama can you treat mona muntie say mo tna say drop program no program no mo for holiness for your program ye without calling pentecostal anger can roman catholic invited them to give them seat to to come to your ex life so we draw program at say one no aduane in spiritual aspect e radio asem your duane ma okra no at say one no aduane na wa fra wo muti say aro afo na ye ne o mo hai o mo two party o mo two party o mo two party o mo from na fufu o mo from mo busua from eh nuclear from the standard from no mo on kwa bedi they are lovers of themselves Lover of the self. In the years you can say, Mamu no we are see any munia manina. Ne we are see munia mano. Aye hunamu and the last of the fresh. The last of the fresh. I wanna say, I will yenu, ni pabaya hun pefo. Lover of themselves. The son of the end time. Bakono no. You will be lover of yourself. Mokdomo hun. Action will be that at first, now I possess all that spirit in me. Now me one thousand or one thousand demons. Now that spirit is now with me. They say, I wanna now what they eh is now now na eh 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 hum hum a adura ni muma na hum hum na si ya fa mu a dumb a ni ami tu a mu koshe mprel komu. Aha, ma ma chachi mu ashro. That first now that spirit now jamie ma. Ni yimu we in kame hon we in chiri we mi chiri we o in chiri we enti wo nya mi se no na ma possess that spirit no se wa ma o hon pain a ma hon hon kon kon deliver wa ubaya ubaya sambod ubaya sambod Romans chapter ten verse three enti radiasim Romans chapter ten verse three let's listen to the word of God from Romans chapter ten verse three. Romans chapter ten verse three. Romans chapter ten verse three. Let's see. He says, Romans chapter ten verse three. Since they did not know the righteous that come from God, and sought to establish their own righteousness, they have established their own righteousness, and they have their righteousness. This uh, this Bible called them righteousness. By in their own way, they call it holiness, including me, <laughs> including me. Since we have established our own righteousness and we did not acknowledge the righteous of God, they did not submit to God's righteousness. That says the Lord. Since we have created our own righteousness in our own eyes and we did not submit. To God righteousness, you have this own God. We have this own God. Holiness churches have this own God because they have established their own righteousness and have forbidden the righteousness of God. Because in the righteousness of God, they love themselves. They don't quarrel against each other. They don't fight against each other. They don't envy each other. They don't jealous each other. They don't. They don't. They don't discriminate. They don't see themselves that they are right than people. You have established your own righteousness. For this why God said you did not submit to him. 
You did not submit to him. That says the Lord. That says the Lord. And do you see something in the verse high in the verse five? Moses described your holiness. Moses, Moses, the shadow of Christ. Moses described this holiness. He says, Moses described this way that the righteous that is by law. <laughs> I'm laughing at you people. Moses described this righteousness. As law, the law that you have established for yourself. Can you quickly go to Proverbs? Proverbs when he come, he, he just insult. You know, Mister Proverbs doesn't it does not respect anybody who don't want him or herself to be respected. He just insult. Let's go. If he will insult us or he will praise us, Proverbs chapter thirty verse twelve. We pray that he will praise us because Mr. Proverbs always insults and always corrects and always rebukes. So I love Mr. Proverbs too much. Hey, hey. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 12 says, Proverbs chapter 30, he always rebuke, always correct, always advise. That is the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 12 says, Proverbs chapter 30 verse 12 says, Ah, uh, those who are pure in their own eyes, holiness people are pure in their own eyes. Yes, they are pure in their own eyes because in the sight of God, in the sight of God, He don't see you pure when you envy your your partner or your neighbor. You are pure in your own eyes because in the sight of God, He doesn't see you pure when you discriminate. You are pure in your own eye because in the sight of God, in the sight of God, he doesn't see someone pure. When they are jealousy, full of jealousy, if you want movement that they are jealous, it's holiness people, self-righteous. They love themselves, lovers of themselves. Lovers of themselves, they love themselves more than anything. Themselves, and now we put themselves in the They are fighting against themselves. This is the book of Proverbs, the Bible, the, 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 the chapter that always rebuke, correct, and advice. Those who appear in their own eyes, yet they are clean of their faith. Their fault, they can't clean it. The fault in them, they can't clean it. This is the meaning of what we are reading. The fault in them, they can't clean it. The, the bitterness in them, they can't clean it. The discrimination in them, they can't clean it. The judgmental in them, they can't clean it. But they are pure in their own eyes. Mercy, Lord, unto you. Can you please go to James chapter 3, verse 14? James chapter 3 verse 14. James chapter 3, the verse number 14. James chapter 3 verse 46. Oh, mercy Lord. But if you, you hear by bitter, mm, you harbor, sorry, that is the correct way. You harbor bitter, envy, and selfish in you. The Bible from Genesis to Revelation can rebuke holiness churches, rebuke, rebuke, rebuke them ten times because they are guilty of everything about rebuking. You have bought this in you and you title yourself holy. If you have bought, ye, James chapter 3, verse 14. James chapter 3, verse 14. But if you have bought, you harbor bitter envy and selfish abuse in your heart. Do not boast about it or deny come down from heaven. But it's deadly on spiritual, on spiritual. Do not boast that what you are doing comes from heaven. This is what the Bible is saying. But it's an deadly thing that is on spiritual. It's an unspiritual. 
of the devil. It's an unspiritual that is from the devil because it's the devil that we know that he lies. He has a lying tongue. Like most of you are lying against the Holy Spirit. It's the, it's the devil that always envy, amb, harbor, harbor enviness in him. I Satan as animal when you know. So if you uh, harbor all this in you, Bible says you shouldn't think it's from above. You shouldn't think it's from above, but you should think that it's from the earthly thing that is unspiritual. That comes from the devil. May the Lord have mercy. Can we quickly uh, 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 let's read it again? 15. The 15 said, James chapter 3, verse 13 up to 15. The 15 said, Such wisdom does not such wisdom does not come from heaven, but is an earthly spiritual of the devil. Of the devil. So you are you are establishing the devil. You are you you are exhibiting or you are living the the the, 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 the devil ash. The a sooner tibon samuno, you who ever was our holiness churches in him one. Enter now, Mr. Munjimu Tumu say, Ye blasphemy, Yakopon. Now, some Mujitumu say, Yenabo, Yenaboni, because Bible saw your Jitumu say, Why a bonnet or the bed channel. Your Jitumu say, No, yea, and why any ye now was the bonnet for channel or the channel. So I sent it and preach, preach, why yes, my yeno. Now, Munja say, Ye righteous. Bible say, You are righteous in our own eyes, or no, you who ye crown crown ye be. Or who say you're crying, crying in now? Do ku do ku bomu tare ten ten mu. Now some people say me no be a more do ku a shout tare ten ten. Some people say okay bonsam jam. And some people say more do ku ten ten a shout tare ten ten. No me na me jina bonsam jam a meshi. We are doing who ye more bo. Self righteousness ashe ye ma. In tokwa we ni we inka we ni we inka. Me bo a mo me kan chere ye. Mo chaki platform ne so ye be asa my friend no. He or she could be your friend. He has posted that. If the holiness churches should be come together to love each other, then the holiness churches can 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 condemn the world or how did you say they can bring the world devils down. Oh that brother is trying to pose it. When the love of the holiness churches come together, holiness B C his sister, holiness A that their brothers, their sister, with that fighting, with that quality, they can bring the the, 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 the devil down. They can accomplish or they can destroy the kingdom of darkness. This is what the brother was trying to say. How can someone call his soul holiness by his fighting, unforgiveness, bitterness, jealousy? All these spirits are in you, and you are still trying to qualify yourself holy. Be, my brother, you are disqualified. You are disqualified. Can you please, uh, end this program with First Corinthians chapter three, verse three? First Corinthians chapter three, verse three says, "You are still worldly." Holiness churches. The Bible said the Lord Jesus Christ is telling you, including me, that you are still worldly. We see no changes in you. Because the 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 or the the, the 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 sister that you see him or her unclean, he quarrel, you quarrel, he fight, you fight, he you he divide, he divide, he divide, he have division spirit in them. You have the same thing. So the Bible says you are still worldly. He doesn't see you holy. For saying there is jealousy. This, oh, mwah. But for since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, please can you open your Bible to read what I'm reading? For so you, uh, uh, you are still quarreling among you. You are still quarreling among you. The Lord see you unworthy. Among you, you are not worthy. You are uh, aren't you worthy? It's a question mark. Are you too worthy? Money we are for. Mommy, me can you me translate what you know? What's the model? So I we are for a chance. So, mo ya de mo mo ahwa ya she mo ma pense man kumi ya she mo ma anu bore ya she mo ma and tro ya she mo ma. You know you are still worthy. Oh, who must say money we are for? 
na moa na mo tight mo hu se mo ye holiness fo enti no kan ni se mo ye omo omo ye ten ni e wo mo omo ni so no se ye fa bible no to to ya bra bo ho we don't even qualify to call ourselves righteousness na kan ye se ya graduate ye ho holiness ya bra bo ni ni bible no e e koti ya kra 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 e koti ya Oh, for since there is jealousy and quarry among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like a merely mind? For one who say I follow Apollo, and let that one know you are. For one who say I follow Apollo, <laughs> oh, we are shame. I'm ashamed of myself calling myself holy necessary. For one say I follow Apollo. Another say I follow Paul. Are you not merely person? This is the end of the program. This is the end of the program. This is a no worship. Thank you, Jesus. Let's accept our fault and pray for forgiveness. Let's set our fault and pray for our forgiveness. Let's accept it and be free. Accept that we do, we are not qualified to call ourselves holiness. We can be qualified when we live our life exactly like Christ. We can we are qualified. No law is against us to call ourselves holiness. But because we can't behave and our attitude is out of context, we have deviated. May the Lord have mercy for me. I have accepted that I'm righteous in my own eyes because in the sight of the 24 elders, they don't see me as a righteous person. That's why they see I see myself as a righteous person. So if you accept this mistake, the Lord is ever to forgive you and accept you as his children again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you Jesus for bringing everything into the end. Ebenezer, we thank you. Amen. You can share. Okay. When you are so now, when you are and you muni we woman muno me bana so preaching again see me a ni me she me she preaching is a I'm a boo and in chief for nyamia pata na my own friend oh nyamia pata me follow you that's what is telling you people eh when you say nyamani ni na fi umwa you go to hell fire because all what the preaching the preacher is preaching goes against you it goes against your doctrine your self righteousness your your righteousness to those who see their self they are pure in their own eyes in their own eyes by the fault in them they can't clean it that is the that is the, the book of proverbs proverbs you see yourself pure proverbs chapter 30 verse 12 by the fault in you you can't clean it. It's not clean. Satan, I too, I want to go to a man holiness for. Satan, we're too jealous. I'm not going to go to the Amount Holiness for. And on my side, I'm not going to say dumb. We're too envious. Envious, you can't say. And you pray. And you pray, I'm not going to go to the Amount. I'm not going to say dumb. We're too impapemu. We're too impapemu. I'm not the Amount. I'm not going to say dumb. I'm not going to say dumb. Satan is out to, out to, out to them. The self-righteousness, judgmental. I mean, I don't want to talk to you, but I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you.
Amohoti, 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 or Coco Sandra, but they themselves they are going to hell. If I didn't say, would you two would not want to allow the Betcham? Why? Would you two with a mouth? Would you two say you are out of content and the Lord will forgive you? Because if I didn't say, I'm on Obia, would you want to be on your teacher? Obia, or no man, and what's the same meaning? Yet in your revelations, you will be. Yet in the Yami, you know who you are to try. Yet in the Yogi Bible, yet in the same. Who's your teacher? If it's a one me. But who has said to say, a bride, as I said, a young man, Napoleon Castle, Muslim Castle, not so long to be there. You are working, Arno. You are humble yourself. You are not saying 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 you Sister B, sister B, or media, you saw your day, no, your day, you know, or one and hope. We're living the last time to say, you know, but a bony or yeah, you saw your Nigeria, you say, or you're my friend. Oh, in the year 2020, the corona brand is on a bond or you're new to me, we are singing to you for you know, or one and 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 one on your boy, I was a couple of this and the testimony of media to you to channel. Why, Yana was an abortion of old Juan, but who said what two of Juan and on in your mayor? On in a meeting time, yes, a radi. Since you have a beer, my duty, I mean, some of me free nipper or the abortion panic. So, it was me free nipper with me, said I was so me more. Na Jimmy, so would Jimmy na would Jimmy na moja to me a crama seno? Would Jimmy mammy second chance? Mim ko two years in new bio, mim raw rome who and yes celebrate ne a ye slave quid dear money bio ne mo befa bible we befa bible we a preachy de bia and what it to me dear so corona tab nimuno. Sa picha ni posi eh ya mame ya mame ya mame esta sa foro post tu ye esta sa foro post tu mimi sume kuhusu video no actually to YouTube channel so 2021 2021 sister na sa ye apema onu amu sio ni Yesu kwa ye se si ya de oro oro ne ho chain bibia se si ya de ne touch them away we pin the asma dia she ne touch them mo we pin the ha we pin the ha we all the year rent na she she ne ne mo ne ne touch them so e oro oro ne e no ma we de ba out no e che se o ti e no mo na o wo ye pass them pa over for le up up to a drama mo we ya worse more than before what is it? I'm saying, say, heaven and can't say, what can we sell good? But Emma Abraham, who culture in the Kukuma, and born who's a friend, you say, you are righteous, you are righteous, because before can change to before. We be to near change, but some oh, modita, we are not more. Ni sisi ma ohoso, oka se Bible se o mu ma ohoso, o mu ma ohoso se o mu ma ohoso. Eni se biya wanya si kana o mu ma ohoso. Da biyo, ya ba chura se ni mu o mu ma ohoso se media metine media metine. Anu na yesu bu beno. On se forasi ni nendi o o kujina o mu se o nendi o tine. Ebra de media meda wa se se mentine se mi mu ya tuji ni na o kujina o no. Efi se media me di mu ada na o chibiara mi chia me tutu suwa dudu mi yesi. This is what the holiness churches have been doing. Ninety-nine percent, they are righteous to the extent that they go to the extent say, passed away, passed away to the extent say, material for holiness revelator biano, material for holiness revelator biano say, Pastor Kumuyi, founder of Deeper Life Churches, Deeper Life Church, or yeah they, or 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 Onfre Radi be our man and our point. Well, in some of our campaign, I mean, if I would even say, no, we be a new, but we see, I mean, a year children. And I said, so would you too? Because Tama and I are rich children, and we don't have a hobby. We don't have a hobby. Or we get to meet the pastor, be able to see what we say. Pastor, no, we can't even answer no. And no, we can't be any more. See, that's yes, the Lord. God is watching. God will bring everything that you use this mouth to say at the judgment day. 
at the judgment day and me to me and to the bible if someone is not from god it's not your duty to expose him or her yours is to preach against the deeds in that person and you support the person with prayer and fasting for the lord to deliver that person by destroying and doing this disgracing him or her this one will not make him or her to 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 to, to repent no he will not repent disgracing the person will never make him or her to repent you rather sack people from him making him or her feel bored that he's not for jesus again jesus has rejected him understand this for yourself